Garrett Blevins here with the third day of week two on the Kingpin RTS split. This is the deadlift max effort day and ended up being a pretty good day. I have a couple different filters in here um, for the actual camera and so you'll see here this is kind of the same greenish uh, look. I'm not a big fan of this but it took me a little bit to uh, figure out how to adjust my camera. I went to uh, what's called a tungsten view and if you guys uh, are particular or care, you can write in the comments. I don't know if any of you actually care about this, but I prefer this this filter for the camera. Um, that said, to the workout, uh, today was supposed to be five sets of two, and it was supposed to be five sets of two with 535, keeping the weight static, but I've decided I really like this upping the weight when I feel good, just adding uh, 10 pounds on each side, working my way up. And I think that that's a little better and, and lets a little bit of the uh, RPE training come into the basic uh, kingpin protocols. And so I'm playing around with this a little bit. I then went for uh, 635 on my last set and uh, did it for a triple. I just kind of felt good, so I decided to go for a third rep. And really these felt uh, pretty easy. And that ties a PR for me. And so I'm pretty happy about that. I then went to block poles. Um, these are, uh, I'm getting better at these. I, you know, I'm going to have to be careful about getting too good at an assistance movement, but this is one of my favorite deadlift assistance exercises. Um, it really lets me overload quite a bit, but doing so in such a way that my hips don't get beat up and I focus primarily on lats and uh, core stabilization. Uh, I've talked a little bit about bracing exercises. Um, in between these reps, each rep I was uh, doing the same thing where I imagine I have a straw and I'm forcing the air out through the straw as I breathe out. This uh, tightens the obliques and begins some uh, abdominal tightening through the muscles. Then after you've blown out as much air as you can, forced it out, then you breathe in underneath uh, underneath your obliques, really down even below your belly button. Uh, real deep air and you fill up your whole body down from that low place and then all the way up through uh, expanding out into the belt and that really has created uh, some good core stability for me and I think it was a large part of this PR here. This was a 60 pound PR, uh, rep PR I think. I'm not sure if I just forgot to write in what I had done on block pulls or if I hadn't tried to triple in a while. That seems like a really big PR. Um, but just felt pretty good today and decided to go up uh, for a heavy triple, I did a 3x3, three three, which is what I call the intensity protocol for uh, RTS, and threw that in alongside the max effort deadlift day. I then did uh, six sets of, I believe, three on floor press, starting uh, two sets at 365, two sets at 385, and two sets at 405. These felt pretty good, uh, but my chest was a little tired. I found that I really tense a lot in my chest on my sumo deadlift. And so I actually uh, kind of do some cross-arm warm-ups. I just bring my arms back and forth across my chest to kind of warm up my pecs in preparation for both deadlift and for benching. And was uh, pretty happy with how these floor presses went today, um, especially after doing uh, really two max effort movements. Uh, with deadlift, I was pretty taxed. And floor press is probably my favorite assistance exercise for bench press. Um, I'm actually stronger, I think, on floor press than I am uh, with a regular bench. Some people aren't. Uh, they can't either maintain the arch or get the leg drive they ha usually use, but for me, I find them a little stronger with floor press. Uh, I was thinking today, uh, as I've been thinking about daily undulating periodization and RPE, I was thinking about how uh, power lifters often talk about uh, staying in low rep ranges and working only on strength, that they don't care how they look or uh, any sort of hypertrophy work. And I think maybe people could make the argument, you know, you can't do bodybuilding and powerlifting at the same time. That's like trying to serve two masters. But I don't really believe that. I think uh, if you're trying to make yourself better, if, you know, just progress or becoming better at what you're doing, if that's what you're trying to serve, then you're going to find multiple expressions of how to do that. And so I think it's important to remember that, you know, you can't, you can't try to get better and try not to get better at the same time, but you can definitely try to make uh, progress and success and uh, improve yourself in a number of ways. Um, and for lifting, that comes across in uh, working on hypertrophy as well as on absolute strength and muscular endurance, all of those things. So, let's think about that today. I hope wherever you guys and girls are at out there, you're doing well. Blessings.